is and what made it good. And do you think that experience was used to give you a grade or do you think that experience was used um, to help you in that learning process for the assessment? Okay. Anybody who'd be willing to share a good experience? Oh, please tell me that there's a good experience somewhere. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's easy to remember those bad ones, isn't it? Uh, we've just found a lot of success with formative assessments being helpful to guide our instruction, especially AXA tickets, because they show readiness for the summative. So there have been times, um, like in our math class, where we've given a uh, formative assessment on multiplication, say, and the kids vomit, and then we know that we're not ready for the summative. We had planned in three days, so we've got to do some <laughs> teaching. So that's been nice. All right. So would you say then you're looking at it then to see what their learning is, rather than a grade? Yes. Yep, yes. We're looking for the end product, the mastery of the content. Right. So that's a learning along the way. So exit ticket would be an example. She gave one in math. So what would an exit ticket in social studies look like? Has anyone ever used one for social studies? Right. So like in that line of learning, that could be an example of an exit ticket in that way. One the other day, um, we're learning about needs and wants right now. And just they had to give me a need and a want and, and justify their answer. It was all verbal, but it was quick and easy, and I walked around. And Which makes it what you said. It was, it was, you said, but it was verbal. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was good. Right, because it's quick. You want something quick and easy to know whether you're ready to move on to the next thing. So that was, again, you were looking at your assessment to learn rather than to give a grade. Everything doesn't have to have a grade, okay, also, right? When you put it like in a game format, where the kids don't realize they're really being assessed, but yet you're learning a lot of what the kids. Are. Right. So she's talking about games and using games too to see what kids know or don't know still, because they get actively involved in that. But you can see what they're learning. So it's again it's that learning process. I had a really good experience in one of my uh, philosophy classes in college, where. It was in, this particular class was an ethics class, and the professor had us do these really, um, I, I felt, really meaningful self-assessment devices where we were taking these very theoretical things and applying them to our own lives, and then at the end, um, making claims about what we felt our grade should be based on how well we uh, thought about the content. Okay, so that personalized, so, something big, big and broad, but then having kids tell about themselves and connecting it to their own lives brings that piece in too. Okay. All right. How about the bad experiences? Does anybody have a bad one that they would share with us? And then think about, was it used to give you a grade or was it used to help you learn? I said I was never a test taker, so anything that I had to memorize, would the anxiety would kick in and it was just terrible. Mm -hmm. So Ephra, all that rote stuff that you were just supposed to remember and then you took the test and it was gone anyway, right? Because you were just cramming to remember it for that. So it had no meaning. And so was that for a grade or was that for learning? Grade. Okay. All right. Anyone else be willing to share one? Back when we had, um, back when we had ITBS, yes. when I was in fourth grade, I had to take all of it in one day because I missed the five days I was sick. So they made me make it up all in one day. Mm, I bet you did really well that year. <laughs> Rock star, right? Okay. I was going to mention the ACT or the ITBS or whatever. Just like I'm a high, it's a high stakes testing. It makes me nervous and I was never a good test taker. So thinking about that with my students, the assessments, I do nothing with them when we get the test results back. Mm -hmm. So, because all those anxieties come out within that too, don't they? And so, it's much better if we're giving those formatives along the way, is what I'm hearing you say, because you can do a check-in to see what they're learning along the way, and then they don't feel like all that stress that you're, you know, putting onto it as that end of the unit test in that way too really helps. So those little checks for understanding along the way we have decided are probably used to help us learn and us teach rather than at the very end to just give it a grade. 
And not to say that we, can't, we shouldn't report on standards. I don't mean that when I'm giving this condensation either. Because we do need to see if kids understand the standards. But there's just, we have to think about ways in which to do that so that it's really helping us understand what we need to teach also. Okay.